Hello. Tonight begins the 15th of Av on the Jewish calendar, and the Mishnah tells us it is one of the most joyous days for the Jewish nation. The history behind it is that the single women used to go out into the field dressed all in white and dance in a circle, and the single men would come out and watch, and this is how shiduchim were made. The beautiful thing about the whole situation was that not all of the girls came from families that had the financial capability to purchase them such fine, beautiful clothing. And in order that no one should be embarrassed, the girls used to swap dresses so that the men had no idea what the financial situation of any one girl was, and the shiduchim would be based on the merit of the personalities alone. I think there are so many important lessons to be learned from this. First and foremost, of course, is always that we should always go to great lengths to make sure that nobody's embarrassed. If we have any capabilities to help that person, we should make sure to do it to the best of our capabilities. And um, another lesson I think to be learned, especially with the shit of crisis nowadays, is that when looking to set up a boy and a girl, the finances should not be for sure not on the top of the list. Many times the parents will look at you know, both sides, it, are, what, what are their finances? Will they be able to help support the couple if either the boy wants to learn or if both of the children are in college and they're trying to start a career and they won't have money, you know, will they be able to help? And this is extremely unfortunate because uh, couples should not be based on finance. It should be based on will they get along, do their personality traits go well together? Is this a match where these people can live and be happy and have a great life together and bring up beautiful children in a healthy environment, not based on will they have enough money? It's, it's extremely unfortunate and it's something that just needs to be gone with. And the next thing I think is always when you're in a situation that you need help for something, um, always try and help somebody else out in that situation as well. I think, first of all, I, I do think it's a merit when you help somebody else that God will look fondly on you and say, you know, she or he helped the other person and you, you are seen as somebody who should merit it based on the fact that you've helped others. But also, when we, even if you don't think that way, when we help one another in a society, if we each look out for the other person, we're just building a successful society where everyone will be taken care of because everybody is making sure that that's the case, looking out for one another. So I think on this um, Tuba Av, this day of love, this day of new beginnings, we should try and start things out on the right foot. We should look out not just for our own relationships, but for the relationships of everybody, however we can, of course, not to be a nosy body, but if somebody needs help in a way that you can give help, you should be there to extend the help, and that we should all look out for one another, and we should all be happy and build nice, beautiful, amazing families that look out for one another, because that's what our nation is all about. That's what a strong nation will be, and that will ensure for a great future. So happy Tuba Av. All my love. Take care. Be well. See you next time.